Hello, Brenton with All Octane here, and in this video, I'm going to open up some 2020 P case cards that I was able to find on the pegs. Um, I wasn't able to find these right out of the box. I did find them on the pegs. Um, so it is a hodgepodge of cars, some really good ones. I haven't didn't find this super treasure hunt. I believe that was the Pagani, um, but I was able to find some really good stuff. So let's go ahead and open them up. Um, let's start up here at the top. We've got the Erickson ride rod. And this one's pretty cool. We've seen it. This is a recolor. Uh, it's a new for 2020 casting. We've seen it kind of like in a matte grayish blue. Now we have it in a kind of matte red or satin red. And this thing is really cool looking. It's nice to add this to the collection. It kind of has like a drift feel to it. I'm not entirely sure if it's based on something or not. You guys can let me know. We're going to go ahead and then open up the custom 2011 Camaro in the Hot Wheels Rescue livery. It's a cool car, that's why I'm gonna open it. Um, I, I understand the livery might not be the best, but it is cool. So there's that one. It looks like it has a little bit of a tampo issue up there. No worries, I do like the big back tires though. That's always fun. As you guys know, that's one of the things I like. We'll go ahead then and open up, wow, everything else is really quite cool. Let's go ahead and open up this one. We've got the muscle bound and there's the card art for it. There are a couple of apparently variations of this. There's like a flat black and then a satin black. I'm not entirely sure which one I have, but uh, Hot Wheels TV, if you've watched him, uh, Mike Zarnak, he's got the variations of this car that you can take a look at. I do like the steely wheels. I do like the large rear tires. It actually feels kind of loose. I don't know if that's the casting itself, but I love the color scheme. Uh, black, red, gray, white, that is... AOO to its finest, all that octane to its finest. So that is something that's really cool. I really like that. Now we're just going to kind of go, I guess, in order. Um, let's work our way up because there's some really good stuff. We've got the Treasure Hunt Silverado. We've got the SVT Lightning uh, in the main line, which is fun. So I'll save kind of that. Let's go ahead and open up this 68 Shelby GT500. Part of the Flame Series in purple. Uh, we've already seen this in blue. Now we see it in purple. Kind of came back to back quite quickly. It's just kind of like your basic run-of-the-mill Mustang. Can't go wrong with that. All right, let's go ahead then and open up the 60s, or I'm sorry, 57 Plymouth Fury. Wow, yeah, this is definitely a 50s car. It's got the got the giant wings on the back. Plymouth Fury, part of the Heat series as well, 57. There's the graphics, steely wheels. I do like the this thing. And we've seen this in a number of colors now, so that's nice to have add to the collection. We'll uh, open up the last of the Flames, Hot Wheels Flame Series. We've got the 69 Dodge Charger. Always nice to add a Dodge Charger to the collection. Chargers, Challengers, they're all fun. There it is. Large wheels, of course. And it's just your basic, basic mainline car. All right, let's go ahead and open up the Jeep. <clears throat> this was a new for 2020 casting. We've seen it in red before, now we've got it in tan. I'm kind of wondering if they will follow the color scheme of the Land Rovers, kind of getting all these, uh, I believe this is like, I know Mopar has this color in their repertoire. I know I've seen a Ram in real life at the 2020 um, Hampton Roads International Auto Show. They have a color very similar to this. And I know Toyota's got a color very similar to this. So there's the Rubicon, I believe. And take that off. Yeah, that's Rubicon. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll ever make it without the dirt bikes in the back. I, I guess it's a cool feature, but eh, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead then and move to the Centenario. That's a Stratman car. All right. Although he doesn't own a Centenario, but it's just the way he says it. It's kind of iconic. It's got some front tampos up top there. It does have rear tampos. No large back tires on this casting, but I believe the Aventador has large tires, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, super nice casting. I think this is the third one we've seen on this one. We've got a white one, there's a silver one, now we've got a red one. Let's go ahead and open up the treasure hunt. I'm going to do it because this card's already kind of mushed anyway. So we got the Chevy Silverado, and you can see there it is, treasure hunt. I kind of wonder if somebody opened this just to see if this was a treasure hunt. Yes, it is. You didn't have to do that. It's got it right there. 
that's the logo indicating it's a regular treasure hunt. So this is part of the rescue squad. I really like the, the bright green, fluorescent green. It's trackside emergency response. It's got the logo right there too. Come on, people. You don't have to open it up to see it's on the car itself. All right. Let's go ahead then and open up the... Let's go with the recolor. We've got a recolor of the Nissan Silvia. <clears throat> we've seen it in gray. Now we've got it in blue. And I think this blue is actually really cool. Yeah, there we go. In blue. And it pretty much has the exact same tampos as it did when it was kind of grayish silver. So if you've got that car, just kind of do a double take to make sure you, you find the blue one too. Although the card art is pretty significant. We're going to go ahead and then open up the Mazda RX-3. I don't know. Yeah, I think this has been a casting before. It's part of the Night Burners. And I know it's been in a, in a, a premium version. I'm trying to remember if it's been in the main line. I don't know, actually. Because I know that the SVT Lightning hasn't been in the main line. But it's part of that. I can't remember if I've seen this casting or not. I've got a lot of cars. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead then and get down to the Fast and Furious Chevelle. This was pretty cool. I did go through like, there were boxes, but somebody had already gone through them, but they left all these Chevelles. Don't really know why. The Chevelle is awesome. It's a 70 Chevelle. It's got the double headlights. That's indication of the 70 with if it's in this body style. Large back tires. I remember first getting this car. Uh, my grandfather has two of them, or had two of them, and back in the 90s when this casting debuted, when it was in blue with white stripes, with the white interior, uh, that was just the coolest car. I bought it, and it was like one of my favorite cars, and I had to show my grandfather because, you know, he had them. But I was so proud of that car, and I was so proud to show him. It was really cool. All right, let's go ahead then and open up the Porsche Safari. New for 2020 casting, going into the main line. And, wow, it's got a lot of tampos on this thing. That's actually really cool. Side tampos and top tampos. I guess it's because there's really not much to tampo in the front and rear. But this is a well-done casting. I'm quite surprised. There's the base. I do like the tire choice as well. Well, they did, they did really well with that one. That was pleasantly surprising. All right, last up is the, again, 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. I believe there's one of these in my neighborhood, but it's kind of hard to tell. People do a lot of clones and up badging and all kinds of stuff that sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. you got to really look and pay attention to something. But there we go. It's got side pipes. It's got the SVT Lightning on the front uh, fender there. And there's the bed front tampos. Yeah, this thing is stunning. <clears throat> they picked a good color choice for this. Hopefully they'll go 90s color choices, early 2000s, because this is a 99. Hopefully they'll go kind of like with the teal, maybe. I don't know. Blues. It'll be interesting to see how they recolor this truck, but they knocked it out of the park on the first run. So I am <clears throat> pleasantly surprised with it. Hopefully you guys are too. Let me know if you guys have been finding these cars. Uh, which ones are your favorites? I really appreciate the comments. I'll try to respond to them. And until the next video, have a good one.